corruption is costing billions of dollars every year. The water sector needs to come to grips with this problem. Corruption is common in the water and sanitation sector and is taking place at many levels. Contractors pay money to officials under the table to win projects. Water users make illegal connections and tamper with their water meter. Corruption in water has a large human cost and may cause disease and even death. Water coverage expansion slows down as money is stolen from projects. It also results in poor service delivery of often unsafe water because resources for operation and maintenance are lost. Water related corruption also damages the environment. It is used to cover up illegal wastewater discharge or unauthorized over abstraction of groundwater. But this is changing. As understanding of the issue is increasing, action oriented initiatives are growing. The Water Integrity Network, or WIN, is one of these initiatives. It is a global network of organizations and individuals who together promote integrity to curb corruption in the water sector. WIN, together with its partners, has developed the annotated water integrity scan, the AWIS, to better understand mechanisms that are in place to avoid corruption. The AWIS is a one-day workshop to jointly explore the integrity of the mechanisms in place to control corruption and to identify areas for improvement. It brings together people with knowledge from the water sector and anti-corruption measures. The participants in this workshop look at three pillars of integrity. Transparency, accountability and participation. Transparency looks at the existence of written procedures because if these are unclear or absent, people can easily take advantage of the situation. Accountability assesses whether procedures are applied and monitored to enable actors to hold each other responsible. Participation explores whether third parties can control the situation. Do they have access to relevant information? Can they file complaints and influence decisions? Water corruption is hard to catch as it can happen at any point along the water development and delivery chain. The AWIS therefore looks at five main risk areas. Policy and legislation. Regulation. Investment projects and programs service provision and the anti-corruption framework that is in place. In all countries these five areas are relevant for water integrity. Although sectors may differ significantly, the AWIS can be adapted to generate context-specific results. The AWIS workshop starts out with an anonymous scoring of the TAP of the five risk areas. To facilitate this process, specific definitions for each scoring level are provided to the different participants. The results are then turned into a chart with the average TAP scores for the five risk areas. The group discusses the outcome of the scoring and jointly explain the results. This qualitative information is added as annotations to the scores, which will enhance understanding and allow sharing with others. Participants have to work together to find arguments to explain the different scores. The scores and annotations are combined into an AWIS report. This report is then shared and validated with other sector actors, to initiate dialogue and to establish the necessary follow-up. Uh, 
Uh, the beauty about this tool is that it is able to bring on board different stakeholders, you know, uh, to discuss issues in a friendly manner. Always <coughs> is a fascinating tool, it's an interesting tool that can help us be frank and candid about the situation of how best our governance and our integrity is in our water sector, but also helping us identify areas where we can improve, areas where we can bring more services and get our service providers to be held accountable for the kind of water services and sanitation services we get, both in the urban and the rural. Is a tool or a methodology that facilitates a process of dialogue, picking constructive ideas from stakeholders, engaging them to identify what would be gaps or weaknesses within the water sector. It's done in a room, a few hours, and you have your report and ready with the suggestions of the areas you need to improve. The advantages is that you really don't talk about corruption per se, but you talk from the other side of things that, if they were happening well, might impact positively on reducing corruption. The discussion on corruption in the water sector is extremely fragmented, and that there is a way where they can consolidate and bring you know, various actors around it and talk about it without anyone shying away from it. The AWIS has already been tested in both urban and rural water supply for the country level. We're now exploring how to adapt it to other sectors such as sanitation and explore if and how it can be used at the regional and district level. We encourage others to join us in this process and in our efforts to enhance the integrity of the water sector.